The institute was set up in about uh, 1918. It was set up by the British uh, colonial government. And they took a very unusual step of uh, starting the institute with the best brains possible. They looked for the most experienced person, and this turned out to be an American in the Philippines, a graduate from Cornell University with a doctorate in forestry. And he was persuaded to come over and start the Forest Research Institute, Dr. Foxworthy. In the library in Frim, we had the, the personal diaries of, um, of Dr. Foxworthy. They were present as a bound type volume to see how a very high a civil servant in the scientific civil service lived from day to day and what they did and what they were thinking. Foxworthy wanted uh, to take up the biggest challenge possible, converting wasteland uh, into productive forests. Now the whole of the Kapong area was being mined for tin on the lower slope and the hills were all terraced by vegetable farmers growing vegetables for Kuala Lumpur. And so he, he wanted to have this challenge because he said, you know, if you want to show that we can grow a forest, let us pick the toughest area possible uh, so that, you know, there will be no doubt that we can do it. When Foxworthy began uh, reforesting, he was only interested in getting the forest back. One of the brilliant things that he did was to plant hundreds of different species. He didn't distinguish because he said we don't know enough to be able to select one or two and then put all our money on it, let us spread it all out. And that was a master stroke. It was a scientific methodology in the sense that uh, all the trials were recorded. So they learned from what they were doing. But they didn't have a preset idea of what they should do. He could uh, fiddle around and uh, shift and change and if something was not suitable for a particular area, he would then do it again until he got it right. Frim is a prime example of restoration of the most possible degraded land. This forest looks almost exactly like natural, untouched forest. Most of the wildlife has come back. The, the total biodiversity is almost approaching that of natural forests. This place contributes a lot to our understanding of the developmental architecture of trees and forests. Adjacent trees maintain their own space, and this crown is able to adjust to other crowns so that they all don't go into each other, and the gaps in between is what we call crown shyness gap. Inside the forest, we have uh, more than uh, 2,567 species, of which we have 93 endangered ones. Yeah? Out of 93, 73 insect free. So free becomes the buffer for these threatened species. We stand strong, conserving the forest, conserving the environment. Free is a showcase of real human creative genius and masterpiece and uh, we did show to people any area can be turned into into forest whether it's degraded land or ex-farming land or even barren land. Frim actually is uh, really committed to achieving a world heritage status and we have actually really dedicated team to fulfill this goal and this is our aspiration. We have to make sure this will be a good example not only to us now but also to future generations.